Hey tubers, so it's about time I actually took this back to Rowan. I've had it here for over a week now and I do appreciate me borrow it, buddy. One more thing before it goes, I suppose you'd say, is I've been really trying to work out how I can make this one work, the one I got from Banggood to review. Um, and I did buy this, right? And it was a few extra dollars, 60, 80 dollars or something like that. But that's, I, I genuinely think with this one, I've been sitting around thinking about it. With this one, it's got the ports down the bottom. It's got dedicated ports for one of these. So my, th you know, my genuine thinking is this is an entry level, and I always knew that from the get go, and I've always said that it is an entry level. But I've I've been going on about this being tight or loose, and realistically, I think it's just not designed for it. It was never. I think it might either be an afterthought or something like that, but it's not tight. And then I thought, well, I've got this one here. Now this one's got these plugs here, and I've showed this on many videos, and they are lovely and tight, they really are. This one here is loose as well. It just comes in and out, there's, there, there's, there's nothing. I mean, the, there is nothing there whatsoever. The weight of Snippy would actually draw it out. That said, maybe this spot welder shouldn't be used with the little magic y tooly wandy thing. And maybe it should just be used with the little uh, copper parts here. Because that does work. I can I can spot weld that without a problem. And with a little bit of holding your tongue right, it'll even solder it'll it solder. Got it on my brain. Uh, it'll even um, spot weld that from like Bruno brought up nickel strip it's a little bit thinner than my nickel but it still works that said I truly do think it's an okay unit I mean it, it does it does what it was provided to do it, it spot welds that the documentation in that little book that I think they call like a manual says it doesn't do anything more than one zero point one five of a millimeter nickel so it does everything it was advertised it said it would do would I buy it Knowing now what I know with this one, no, I wouldn't. I would go straight to this one. It is double the price, but it does four times more. So, YouTubers, let's get in the car. We've got to deliver this out to Rowan, and we might just do a little bit of a walk around Rowan set up out there and um, show you around what he's doing. Let's do it. Blue and pink. What's going on with that, man? How many cells have you got here? Well, you're looking at the 14S. 240p, which is 3,360 cells ready to go. That looks awesome. That looks, it's so neat and tidy. And what have you got, it, um, what's the mount you've got it in? So this mount that you're looking at is a battery storage mount uh, that I was able to pick up from a recycler to save it going off for scrap. That's awesome. And what about bus bar? Have you thought about, bus? I mean, I know we know the, the spot welder you're using. I've stolen it for last week, but what about bus bars and stuff like that? What are you doing with that? So you would have seen some of my photos. The bus bars we're looking at is just our twisted house wire. To get a higher capacity, I've actually double stranded them and then twisted them up. That is awesome. That is really heavy. I mean, that is not going to have any problem at all carrying the car. Oh, there you go. You've got one laid out there. So I've just brought the crimper over. What did you ask me for that for? All right, next step, crimp on these butt splices on the end join on a flexible cable with a single pole 75 amp Anderson plug on the end. Okay, that's neat. And this will allow me to join one pack to the next. And where's this actually, uh, this is gonna go here, so that's gonna join? Yeah, pretty much as you've got it there, it'll just, cause it's flexible, can... it'll allow me to join either down or join around. Okay, but I'm a bit concerned. Are you leaving this in, like this is sort of in your garage. I mean, it's not hooked up, so it's fine at the moment, but is this the final location? Once it's all finished and up and running, it will move outside. Oh, great. So you have got an external location. <laughs> it will go outside. Oh, geez, man. No, I wouldn't want to burn your house down or anything like that, would you? I mean, can you imagine the YouTube comments? <laughs> um, that that there says, I don't know why, that, but oh, this is leaking too. Who, who else has got one of these crimpers? This is starting to leak. I think I've done about 120 crimps with this. And I picked it up the other day, and it just had a little bit of um, 
fluid around here you can kind of see it on my finger it makes my soft hands look shiny so just use it until it dies basically if anybody else out there has had any problems with it or can, knows where to get the um the seal kit for it can you let me know that it would be great hey rowan you need you need some um you've got something missing down here buddy what's when, when's that going to get hooked up it's going everybody's seen my batteries they're not far off we need some energy flowing to the batteries definitely it's a cool inverter sun grow i love it look how tidy it's installed it's there's something about a solar installer that does things neat and right